raise the issue on uh, some of the carbonated appliances. Uh, alam niyo yung problema pagdating sa implementation of carbon. Then uh, she used to uh, call me to ask something about uh, some of the issues and concerns pertaining to the implementation of the carbon. And every time uh, she raises this issue, kailangan may sagot ka din ang DFP. Kailangan may sagot ang DFP. So I call the attention of our uh, concerned office, the Directorate for Fire Safety Enforcement, uh, and the person of one of our engineers, Mr. Bambo. And I asked him about uh, the particular uh, issue on uh, the stand type of the building. And he mentioned that uh, it was um, uh, during the, the formulation of uh, the revised IRR of our 2008 uh, Fire of the Philippines and 9514, it was been suggested by a certain organization, so as I said, it was in front of the people, uh, the use or the importance of the standby and um, some um, suggestions of um, retaining at least one, that is the web standby. So, ang haba po ang naging discussion namin. So, I uh, can advise him that it's possible uh, to meet the officers and man of PEPO. Uh, madali po namin gawin, may maguhin, may gawin, madali po namin gawin na uh, uh, amen agad-agad yung sa tingin namin kailangan namin i-amen. But I believe that partnership is a way for progress. Hindi po pwede yung kanya-kanya. Um, in Taiwan, for this time already that I visited that, that, that place, the country, um, I was surprised that um, NFA, the National Fire Agency, which is the BFP in the Philippines, has this, has this partnership with a lot of institutions pertaining to the enhancement and the development of their fire service administration. Ang ganda po ng kanilang relasyon. In fact, the last day of our uh, training in Taiwan, dinala po kami sa isang institution on a Santos material. These institutions are really doing the research on how to address the Santos material. And their side, ang pinag-usapan nun ni Sasma pagdating sa atin and uh, the Western side. Ang pinag-usapan, not purely Sasma. Ang pinag-usapan nun ito. Is the Santos material uh, pa rin, pero on the aspect of a severed, that this might be used no, to harm other people or to harm people. Pagdating sa, sa Taiwan, sa Taiwan are purely accidental because of the nature of the operation of a certain industries. So do sila nag focus. So I told uh, the um, the NFA people that um, the, the tour today is very um, significant to the development of the streets officers that attended the JTV program. So again, going back to uh, my statement that partnership is a key for progress in the operating Kanyanya. And luckily, uh, a very short notice to uh, the officers of PEPO and uh, of course Paul and President and the rest of the guys attended the meeting and it was turned out to be very productive. You know, I, uh, they explained to, to me the reasons or uh, the reason behind their suggestions, and I also told them on the concept or the mindset of an operation. And uh, <coughs> in the Netherlands. Madali lang naman eh. Ganun na po ang, ano, ang uh, kailangan na yung nagkakaintindihan, narinate yung uh, both sides, and maybe we can meet in the middle, just to address a certain problem. Because in the fire operation, I discussed to them, uh, <coughs> firefighters cannot rely on what the, the uh, establishment can offer. Pagdating po sa sunog, we are more on doon talaga kami po ang aming uh, water from the parka. Because we are assured of the necessary pressures and the necessary volume. We do not know anong meron sa isang establishment. So yun po yung discussion now. Uh, if we um, go into one uh, standpipe only, that is the red standpipe, the moment that uh, a certain or a number of fire exchanger heads 
first, develop tayo uh, singaw pagdating sa operation. So, kailangan natin, ang, ang sunog kasi slight, slight in, the, in the war, kailangan yung bala mo ina. Pag binigyan ka ng shotgun at ang kalaban mo ay 4 February 16, dito pa makalapit, patay ka na. So, same with the firefighting, kailangan namin ng pressure ng tubig because I explained to our engineers, you know what, firefighting or fire is always a science. It's not art. No? Uh, kung ang other uniform service using art to convince somebody to surrender, to convince a person using using an art in their mindset, so dapat pala magkapay na huwag tayo na mag-commit ng any infractions or any violations of the law, I will be um, a law by this, it's not an art. But in firefighting, in fire, it's always science. Apply ka talaga ng science. Sa Taiwan, ang kanilang uh, damit sa lipod, firefighting is a science. They uh, apply science in doing things that are uh, necessary for fire service. So again, as I mentioned, um, kailangan ko natin apply ng science. No? So it's like uh, having a shotgun with the important or like the run rifle yung sa, sa kabilang side, eh, hindi ka makalapit. And firefighting is not purely using water to just get the uh, the fire on wet or uh, it's always about uh, introducing the cooling. Ibig sabihin, kailangan natin i-reduce yung temperature just to lower the fire and that we can approach and we can do direct extinguishment for the fire. So yun yung explanation. And as I said, I am very happy with, of course, with the support of the organization. And they are amenable with all due respect to uh, those who are not around, no? uh, they are amenable on, on, on the idea that uh, we have to go back, we have to go back to the old because, uh, you know what, the old fire code, those uh, minds behind the old fire code, ang talino eh. Talagang, uh, with your respect to, uh, of course, I would like to recognize my idol no, in, uh, in the BFP, uh, Sir Dan. Alam mo sir, yung lumang batas natin, napakatalino ang gumawa nun eh. Kompleto yun to. But because of the advent of technology, we need to, of course, we need to, we need to, uh, to be uh, within or to be within. Kasi hindi pwede mauna yung technology sa atin. So kailangan natin sabayan. And the revision and the amendment of the old FAR code, um, well, the, the, the intention really is to make the FAR code more applicable, no? more applicable to the technology. Yun nga lang, kung minsan may mga nakakalitan tayo kaya another revision or that can be addressed through the IRR. Unfortunately, the IRR should not be in contrast to the basic law. Kasi pag in contrast to the basic law, papupunta tayo doon sa, sa interpretation. And the interpretation is always rely or go back to the basic law. So kailangan naka-align or naka-ano talaga isa sa basic law. Kaya nung ginawa yung IRR, as I said, we have a lot of engineers to, uh, to inform everyone. BAP has around 5,000 engineers, 5,000 engineers, all, uh, all type of engineers, all type of professions in engineering. But again, uh, expertise are not solely for BAP. Kailangan din namin yung expertise ng mga nasa labas. Kaya nung ginawa yung uh, IRR natin, nagkaroon na yun ng public uh, discussions. No? And again, uh, this public discussion is very dynamic. It's very dynamic. Kaya uh, nabuo natin yung IRR, then we found out na meron pang kulang, nagkaroon tayo na yun ng revised IRR. And I am very happy that uh, your organization is very supportive to the cost no? and of course the purpose of the GFP. I read your creed, no? certain of your creed, and again, uh, we are one. We are one. We have the same objective, and that is always to promote safety to the entire public. And I am very happy that, again, another organization is ang kamay lang, no? Nandiyan lang sa tabi namin na pwede namin hilain. Tulungan nyo kami dito kasi alam namin. You know, the expertise. You know, the expertise. And I pray that I hope that, uh, you know, sabi ng Sir Danny kanina, there are, there are times na meron kami arguments. Alam mo yung dynamics kasi yan, eh. Kasi kung iisa rin yung directions natin, hindi na natin alam kung anong tama at mali doon. Kailangan meron talaga na ano, meron talaga uh, uh, debate and arguments to discuss matters and to iron out how to address how to address problems and that's, again sir that's dynamics and I hope that uh, your organization will be uh, one no? organization that uh, helps the BFP. I always uh, look into ano ba, into the future that uh, we will be like uh, Taiwan, we will be like uh, United 
can say to be like UK in terms of fire service administration. And uh, for them, it's not solely about their fire service. They have partners, and partnership, as I said, is a key for progress. So I'm so much. I'm thank you. I'm I'm very uh, thankful to everyone, not only to people but to the rest of the organization who are very supportive to BFP. Uh, and I would like to mention that this coming 16 December, it's a national uh, national volunteer month, service month, national volunteer service month. Um, BFP is one host of. Um, ito kasi in BM, uh, the office is at Latneta, and they're promoting volunteerism. It's a, a one month uh, celebration, and BFP is tasked also host at least one day. And this is about our uh, volunteer fire brigade. So this time in December 16th, they will be joining us to also uh, um, somehow ano ba, uh, give the uh, importance of their contributions. And the organizations soon uh, will also be recognized by the BFP. Uh, Alam niyo yung contribution niyo pala dito sa ano, sa engineering safety. Kahit marami ng kami engineers, I am a registered medical technologist. At tataka na kayo, bakit po napunta sa fire remit? Take a hope. Uh, kailangan ng namin yung expertise niyo. At uh, umaasa ako. Umaasa ako na maging katuwag namin kayo. Um, at uh, siguro, pag nandyan kayo, baka yung mga naging problema, yung mga nakaraan, ay mapag-usapan at uh, may address namin. Kasi isa lang yung direction sa atin missions and objectives and BFP is like their missions and objectives also. So I am very thankful of your invitation. Of course, congratulations. Uh, mananalangin na po na patuloy kayo umangat. Uh, I was informed that uh, chapters are all over the country already and uh, the numbers are keep on growing. In fact, ilan na yung kalina, ngayon tumami na. Eh, nandyan pa yung nasa Zoom, kaso hindi ako nakikita. I pray that uh, this organization will keep on growing and uh, encourage all other uh, safety practitioners, maybe not limited to engineering profession, but all other safety practitioners, to have this goal, no, have this goal of making our country a very safe nation. So thank you so much. At thank you. Thank you. Good. 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 Okay, now for the uh, awarding of the plaque of appreciation, may we call on our incoming and outgoing president. Uh, of course, our uh, Vice President for External Affairs, Engineer Dan Capella, and our uh, National Secretary, Engineer Armando Armata. Please allow me to read the content of the, of the appreciation. The Philippine Integrated Fire Protection Organization awards this plaque of appreciation to the Chief Superintendent Miguelito Rico Nil Juan Fiu, the Deputy Chief of Operation of the Bureau of Fire Protection, as the guest speaker and participation as a acting officer during the PIPPO National Induction Ceremony and Christmas Party. Given this 8th day of December 2022, 6th floor function room A and B of Park West BGC in the King City with a team addressing the challenges of fire and life safety signed by our national Secretary, National Vice President for Internal Affairs, and of course, the Incumbent National President, Engineer Ronel Bates. Hawak-hawak ko na itong baki na ito. On behalf of our Chief BFP, of course, uh, we have the Chief BFP. Thank you so much for this uh, award. Thank you so much for um, partnering with uh, the BFP in uh, promoting safety to the public. Uh, rest assured that uh, with the leadership and management of our GPFP now, uh, BFP will do its best to promote safety together with your organization. So thank you so much for saying. Thank you. Pinakita ko sa ano na may pictorials baka ano pwedeng masingit. Ay ay ay. Oh, yes, of course. So, you know, 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 you know,